In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a WooCommerce call for price in just a few simple steps. Here you can see instead of the add to cart button, we've got this call us for price button and you can link this button to your contact page, which has your phone number on there, or you can insert the phone number directly within this button. So without further ado, let's show you exactly how to set up this call us button. Okay, so I'm assuming that you've downloaded the optimized form core plugin when you follow the optimizedform.com slash YouTube link. Now, the next thing you want to do is head over to your WordPress dashboard, navigate to plugins, add new, upload plugin, browse, yeah, choose file. Here you select the optimized form core plugin, click install, activate. Once you've done that, you'll see this optimized form menu here. Hover over it, click on it, navigate to activate. And then here you'll enter in the license key, which you received on the thank you page. You should have also received an email address with your license key. Hit activate, head over to modules and then scroll down to this particular plugin here, optimize form request the quote plugin, hit install, toggle this to on, and then you wanna click manage, or you can click the request the quote um, menu here. In your case, this will be completely blank. You wanna click add new rule. I've already created a rule for our guest users. Just hit add new rule. And then here you wanna name the rule just so, just for internal purposes. Since I've already created one for our guest users, guest users meaning anyone who's logged out of your site. Um, here, I'm gonna select, just for this example, I'm gonna select registered users, and then I'm gonna select administrator as a user role. So if you, create, if you cater to multiple user group, here you can tailor the experience for each user group. So for example, you might want to show the call us for price for all logged out users and for logged in users, maybe you want to, you want to enable the request the quote system, meaning that they can click simply add multiple products to their request the quote basket and then send that over to you um, by hitting submit. And then you can reply back to them with a custom price and whatever it is you provide. So in this example, I'm just going to target administrator because I'm currently logged in as an administrator. Rule priority, it goes from one to 10, one being the highest priority. And this, this comes into consideration when you've got multiple rules and a particular user falls into both rules, if not multiple rules. The rule with the highest priority will execute for that user. So here I'm just going to select one. And then here it's saying, do we want to apply this rule to all products? You can select yes, or you can select um, individual products, or you can opt to run this rule for products within a set category. In this case, I'm going to select all products. So, so on my WordPress store, instead of seeing the add to cart, we'll see this call us for price button on all our products. And then here we can choose whether we want to hide the price. Um, you can select yes. You can add a text explaining to them that the price is hidden. In this case, I'm going to leave the price displaying. And then here, I'm going to select um, replace add to cart, add to cart with custom button. And then here, I'm going to I'm going to set the button label to call us for price. You can name it whatever you like. And also you can link your users to a particular page when they click on that call us for price. So maybe you want to um, link them to your contact page, which has your phone number and other ways to um, get in contact with yourselves. So I'm going to add a link to my contact page there and the button will say call us for price. Once you finish, hit publish. And then now I'm going to navigate to my storefront just to see how it looks. And there uh, you can see the call, call us or price button. If we click on the product page as well, it's the same thing, call us a price. And then if we click on this, it'll take us to that page in which we, we specify. You can also choose not to link the users to a particular page. So you can leave that field blank. 
and the button won't be clickable and they'll just see this see the button which basically prompts them to call your sales for a quote on that particular product or service they're interested in if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know in the comments below if you've got any questions